Grace, I love the word guru. <laughs> uh, now, Janie's Imperfectly Natural Woman book has now been joined by this uh, Imperfectly Natural Baby and Toddler. There we go. So, uh, you've got to take, you've got to sort of a take on green aspects in all aspects of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We must stress the imperfectly, though, not the yeah. guru at all, because I'm it, so not an eco-warrior, I just do not get everything right. It's you not about being the, anally obsessed Exactly, about you should see things. the bins outside my place. Well, uh, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> of a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I have rooted through them once or twice in my previous <laughs> life. Uh, now, what kind of questions can people phone in with today? Well, anything, really, to do with um, living a little bit more naturally, trying to reduce the chemicals in your lives. Yeah. So, often skin care is an issue for babies and for adults, looking at, if we do get any sunshine, how can you protect yourself from the sun yeah. um, but without using chemical laden sun creams and if you get bitten or even to protect yourself from getting bitten what else can you do because there are some fantastic natural alternatives as well as all the usual stuff around the all house cleaning stuff, you know, the laundry, nappies yeah 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 absolutely well, laundry. I'm talk to you about nappies in just a yeah, second okay. I know you like that um, and yeah just anything anything like that really colic um, we've got some natural solutions for okay. that there's, there's a there's a natural okay. alternative for pretty much everything okay there you go so uh, you might be uh, looking at all the lotions and potions around your home and thinking of these doing my family any good. Uh, you might want info on nappy skincare, baby bubble bath. If you'd like to know how to green up your life, give Janie a call right now. It is first come, first serve, so get dialing quickly, please. 0207 173 555 is the number. Now, I'm going to start off by putting you on the spot uh, because the government has been running a real nappy campaign for what, three years mm -hmm. at a cost, unbelievably, of £30 million to you and me, the taxpayer. And now it's been scrapped uh, by the Health Minister, Ben Bradshaw. He says that washing terry nappies uh, is just as bad for the environment because of all the uh, greenhouse gases caused from washing them and drying them. Mm. Well, there are several things I could say, um, but I think I could probably sum it up in one word, which is, in my opinion, that is poo. I'm sorry, but really? that is a complete poo, really, it honestly is. Because you're a great advocate of terries, I, aren't I you? I really am an advocate, but not, not just terries. Let's not forget that um, washable nappies come in many, many different shapes right. and sizes now. Um, this is a fabulous one, which dries really quickly, um, which is called a micro, and it can go up to lots of different ages, as it were. And it, because it's made of a kind of fleece material, yeah, yeah. it dries instantly. Look, it fastens well with Velcro. Washes at low temperature as well. Washes at low temperature, so you don't need uh, nappy pins. Is that it? That's the whole thing there? That's, That's the thing. And then you, need, you just need a wrap around it. But there are some that come that you don't even need a wrap. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but the point we're making here is that I don't It still believe... doesn't go around the washing machine, though, isn't it? Even yes. though it dries quickly, yes. it's still got to be washed. But the point is that when you've got a baby, anybody with a baby or young children will know, you do lots of washing, just by the law of averages. Yeah. That's the way it works out. You do not have to do a separate wash for nappies. You don't Good have point. to wash them at 60. You can wash them at 30 or 40. They don't need to be pre-soaked. They can be bunged in with everything else. They're coloured. So, well, they don't have to be coloured, but if they are... See, I, you're absolutely right. I hadn't considered... Because uh, I'm just thinking, oh, Terry's nappies, separate wash, no, stick them all absolutely. in. absolutely. None, you're of, saying, none no, of, just... of that old boiling or so pre-soaked hanging around in buckets for days on end just do, throw them in with your regular wash they will dry very quickly if you get a certain type yeah. you do not have to spend a fortune buying them so there's not the whole production issue you can buy them secondhand okay. don't look horrified no, they, no, no, they no, last no. for years they make great cleaning cloths um, I just don't buy into this at all I think their real nappies are absolutely amazing okay we're gonna take uh, one of the viewers calls then we're gonna talk porridge oats okay okay is, that, is there any left who's on the line first please Kate? we've got Michelle first from Cheshire on line one morning Michelle. Hello. Hi there, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. How can Janie help you, my dear? I'd like a natural product to help a baby teeth. Teething, teething solutions. Teething solutions, yeah. Well, it's a really good point because some of the products that are on the market, uh, you get these kind of um, teething rings, these old-fashioned yeah, teething yeah, yeah. rings, and some of them are um, they're made of plastic, a lot of them, and they're filled with this nightmare kind of potentially toxic chemical gel, in my personal opinion, and I wouldn't use them for a second. Also, they're really awkward, and most babies can't actually fit them into their mouths anyway. So I would suggest... Michelle, get something like a really old-style Bicky peg. There's some Bicky pegs just at the front of the table there. And you probably remember them. They're the ones that have been around for years. What are Bicky they, pegs? Well, they're kind of little pieces of hardened wheat, really. They look a bit like a dog biscuit. Yeah, open them yeah. up. And you get a lovely little pink ribbon that you can attach them to your little top. Of course, you mustn't leave a baby unattended with anything Why like that. Why do they wrap things but up in plastic? I know, it's very I annoying. Open. Why? Tell me that. Yeah, Why? Um, I have but there's also a God carrot at the them. front of the table there. And if, and if, if it was a nice organic one and we'd... Um, peeled it or at least uh, 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 <laughs> calm down or at least scraped it um, and then carrots are great for teething on, michelle wants to know oh. about her teething yeah, sorry sorry so, yeah, i'm trying so to help so you can you can My let let a baby chew on a on a raw carrot of course you must never leave them unattended because of choking issues but that would oh, be the okay. same with anything yeah you see they go just chew on that they can just chew on that yeah 
But it's much, it's much I'll tell you nicer. What, it actually tastes quite nice it's as well. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, you're mm. going to have a staple diet, I can tell. So, but that or a carrot or a crunchy carrot. Bicky pegs. Bicky pegs, Michelle. Bicky pegs. I'll tell you what, I even quite like them. A great substitute for those of you maybe giving up smoking as well. <laughs> um, right, Michelle, thank you for that. Uh, enjoy your Bicky pegs. Porridge oats. Porridge oats. Well, you've got, you really think this is very interesting, but it's actually such an old fashioned idea as so many of my things are. They're not at all cosmic and new age. You literally just get a little muslin bag, or if you want this to is, This is sock. just so we put this in, into perspective, because there's been a lot written about uh, parents overwashing their children. Uh, bubble baths and mm. so too many chemicals in the soaps yeah. and in the bubble yeah. baths leaving the skin very sensitive. Absolutely. And that's where yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not we're not saying use this as a substitute for soap, but then I would say you don't need to use soap on well, babies uh, in any case. Um, you know, the less you can use, the better. We did speak once about the dechlorination ball, which is a great thing to run under the tap, run the water through the ball, it takes out 98% of the chlorine. But this is great. You just get a little muslin bag or even a sock and stick a bunch of porridge oats into the bag. And there you have your little muslin bag, a few, few more than that, okay. or even a sock, as I say, a pop okay. sock or something. Run it under the tap. And if you can imagine, what happens is, as the water runs through, it creates this lovely kind of milky... This is as you run the bath. So yeah. you stick it under the tap as Absolutely. you're running the bath. Or you can right. swish okay. it around in the water, yeah. and it creates this lovely kind of milky substance. It's a bit like kind of Cleopatra style bathing in milk. It's fabulously soothing. Well, just from porridge oats? Of course. And it's so soothing because, um, you know, if you, could, if you think about it, you know how your skin feels when it's inflamed or you've got a yeah, little rash? Yeah, yeah. It's very, very soothing. You should try that tonight, Matthew. Does it not leave? Do you know, is it not sticky afterwards? Of or it's, not. Not. it's absolutely so. It's absolutely. I, I tell you what, Janie, you are fantastic. I'm going to do that when I go home. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Can use one of your socks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's go back to you guys at home, Karen. Another baby issue now. This is from Paula in Essex. She says, I have a baby girl who is just turning one. She has cradle cap, and I would like to know if there is a remedy to cure or improve it. Mm. What's cradle well, cap? Cradle cap is when babies are born, they get this sort of almost like um, flaky. Um, hardened kind of substance al along their crown. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit weird. And I mean, it, in most cases, I would say actually just leave it alone. If it doesn't seem to be causing the baby any discomfort, I would leave it. However, if it, you get the impression that it is causing the baby discomfort because it comes, comes down sort of sometimes onto the forehead and you think, oh, that must actually feel quite yeah. painful and quite tight, then I would suggest just rubbing it really gently with a tiny bit of olive oil or, or a, a similar kind of very gentle oil. Um, just very gentle circular That's movements. That's a sort of form of natural yeah, moisturizer. Just sort of, yeah, just to sort of slightly moisturize it this is also a really really fantastic thing that I've spoken about what before it's by the sensitive skincare company it's a pre-wash and shower oil and you literally it's all essential oils very safe for babies it's organic soil so you rub certified. it on the baby or stick it in the bath you rub it on the baby right. you don't need any soap or anything, any other moisturiser. You can use it before you wash, and you can also use it after, if you see okay. what I mean. So it's both protective and cleansing. And just out of interest, what's that one next to it? Oh, this is the bum spray. I thought you might notice that. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is what by, they call it. This is spray. by Greenface, and this is a bum spray because it's just a, another really lovely natural way of, um, of you know, cleansing your baby's bottom area right. with natural stuff and essential oils, and so it's called bum spray. <laughs> I love it. Let's go back to you guys, Karen. We've got Matthew now from North Yorkshire on line three. Morning, Matthew. Great name. Uh, what would you like to ask Janie? Uh, well, I've got uh, a seven-year-old, a seven-month-old, and um, I think a lot more about the cleaning products I use around the house. And right. when you read on the labels, you know, they're full of chemicals. Okay. And I want to, you know, to be able to clean around the house with a lot gentler, um, you know, less chemicals in my cleaners. And you've got kids yourself? Yeah, I've got a seven-month-old. So really. high chairs, that kind of That's thing. That's it, yeah, yeah, high chairs, I think. OK, Matthew. Yeah, fantastic, Matthew. It's a great question, and it's one of my big things in life, is reduce the chemicals around your home in terms of cleaning equipment. It's so much easier to do now than it used to be. There are some great companies. We all know of big companies like Ecova, who make all kinds of detergents and all kinds of washing-up liquids. But there's a great company called Natural Clean, who do a whole range of products, um, everything. You can clean your loo, their stuff. It's, there's all kinds of stuff. Baby wipes, you can see on the screen there, there's some natural baby wipes regular baby wipes will um, actually take felt pen off walls <laughs> which is really handy for felt pen off walls but you wonder what they're you're doing to your baby's bum. Oh, cool. so, <laughs> you, you're a bicky oh, pegging aren't you <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what point you see that it tooth's break. coming through oh. um, so it's a great idea to get natural baby wipes in terms of cleaning high chairs you're really right you know very very sensible to consider that because we forget babies pick up food you know they don't often bother with plates they pick up food directly from the high chair which will then may then have been cleaned in uh, Are you a cleaning obsessive person thing. yourself, these antibacterial Joking. sprays and stuff well, like that? N well, it depends which way you look at it. I'm not mad about cleaning. I absolutely would never use any, any regular detergent anymore. I, I just never okay. use them. In fact, if I walk into an environment where they use that sort of stuff, it, 
makes me almost faint because I'm I, when you become attuned to that chemical whiff, it's quite scary.